The purpose of the Finder is to help you organize things on your Macintosh computer. Remember we said that the, the uh, Macintosh hard drive over here is like a big old storage cabinet. When you double click it, you can open it. Double clicking performs an action here from the file menu, which is open. Double clicks pretty much do that universally. There are some places in the Finder where a double click will not open something and you don't need to double click it. For example, down in the dock, you don't need to double click these icons in the dock. You just click them one time and they perform their action. But a double click will open an item. In this case, it opens our big old storage cabinet, our Macintosh hard drive. Well, the purpose of the Finder, once again, is to help you organize all of your digital stuff, all the stuff you're going to be creating with your computer. And that's done with a folder system. Under the File menu, we can select the item that says New Folder, and out on the desktop, over to the right, a new folder will be created. Let me pull that over uh, to the left side of my screen so we can see it just a little bit better. And this is simply for the purpose of organization. When you create a filing system in your home, you organize yourself by typically alphabetical order, but also by subject and category. So let's say that I wanted to get some of my digital life organized. Now, what am I going to ultimately be putting in here? Well, I'll be putting in documents that I create. I'll be putting in photographs. I'll be putting in music, anything that I create using my computer. Sometimes it'll be things that someone sends me via email, but I want to try to get all of that stuff organized. How do I do that? By creating folders and organizing it. So let's just create an overarching folder called My Stuff. Now, as I created this folder, you notice that it came up with the name Untitled Folder. And in fact, every folder you create will have the name Untitled Folder. But the operating system is smart enough to know that if there's an untitled folder already existing at that location on your hard drive, it will create a new folder called Untitled Folder with an incremental name. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and create new folder. And a new folder was indeed created. And it's folder 2. All right. Not very helpful as a naming scheme, is it? We, we'd be lost pretty quick. I'm going to hold down the command key on my keyboard and hit the delete key on my keyboard at the same time and send that folder off to the trash. That's where it went. So what I'm going to do is once this folder is selected with my mouse pointer, and by the way, the tip of the mouse is the hotspot. If you try to click a folder and you're not, you're not right on the folder with the tip of the mouse, you're not going to select anything. All right, so that tip of the mouse is the hotspot. Now, when I go to the folder, I select the folder. But when I come down here to this name, this label for the folder, and I click again, it puts me into the text editing mode. You see this I bar? Remember that an I bar shows up anytime you're over a text editing field. And the text is highlighted with a different color in this field. In my case, it's currently blue. And as I click in here, you'll see that a little line starts flashing. What's happened is this text that was previously selected is no longer selected. And I've started uh, what's called the insert point. That's what that flashing icon means, that line means. That's called the insert point. Once again, I move my mouse over a text field and I get what's called the I bar. If I click one time in the text field, it moves that insert point between two characters. Or if I go carefully right before, I can go to the very first part of those characters. Or if I go to the last and click to the end of the character line, I can start my insert point there. What does that mean? It means that that's where characters are going to be inserted as I type them on the keyboard. See? Now, if I moved my insert point, take my eye bar and go and click at the head of my untitled folder. Can't spell. All right. 
Well, that's what the insert point is in every text box or every text field or over every document that you ever experience on a Macintosh is going to have an I bar and a um, insert point associated with it, no matter where you click. Well, you notice that when we started this whole process, everything was highlighted blue. To get this highlighted blue again, I'm clicking and holding at the beginning of the text and just dragging to the end. When I click, hold, and drag, I'm highlighting text. There's another way to highlight all the text in any text field or on any page of documents, and that would be by, you can double click and it selects a word, and triple click and it selects either a line or it will select everything. Once text is selected and highlighted, you can begin typing whatever you need to type. There's no need to go back and hit the delete key, just start typing. Whatever's selected will be replaced. So I wanted to name this folder My Stuff. After I'm done editing, I can either simply just click somewhere out of this, or if I'm in the edit mode, I just simply hit my return key and it takes me out of the edit mode. Now that was a lot of information and I want to go over it real quickly again because the flow of this is honestly very very quick if you're uh, not going through all these steps that I just went through. So I want you to watch this. I'm going to hold down command and delete once again. Send that off to the trash can. I don't need it. We are going to get rid of it. I'll go ahead and select new folder. Here's a folder on my desktop and I'll hit my return key to put me in the edit mode type a new name. Oops, I forget the word my. I can use my arrow keys to go back. And there you go. To get out of the text editing mode, I simply hit return. And there I go. My folder is completely created. And this is where I am going to store all of my stuff. All the digital things I create, get my life organized and get my folder system organized. It's going to be grand. All right, well, what do we do? How do we do that? I need some more folders. So let's go ahead and create some more folders. I'll go File, New Folder, and by the way, I could hit Shift, Command, N to get a new folder. And this folder, let's call it uh, Personal. And Shift, Command, N brings up another folder. And we will call this one Finances. Let's create a new folder, Shift Command End, and a new folder, hit the Edit Enter, and this one will be called Work. All right. So I've got three folders starting to get my personal life, my financial life, and my work life organized. If I want to select things, you know I can click on them. But I can also use my mouse and select someplace off of items and click, hold, and drag around items. And it makes a marquee. That little white line you see is called a marquee, like a movie theater marquee. Once I've got things selected, they're all selected, I can come back, click and hold on one item, drag them over, and drop them into my stuff. Now, you know we've been sending things off to the trash can. Let's go down and look at the trash can for a second. In the trash can, if I look at, well, there's the folders I threw away earlier. They're in the trash can. This is a little bit different view than I'm used to looking to, but we see the folders that I've thrown away before. And in this folder, my stuff, if I double click it, sure enough, it opens. And there's those three folders allowing me to be organized and start creating some kind of framework that I'll be able to find things later on my computer. So when you think about the finder, let's think about this in terms of a big filing cabinet organized with folders. And in those folders can be other folders or other folders, and then possibly documents and audio files, all sorts of stuff. The point is, it's a metaphor. Filing cabinet and folders. And the finder is just meant to help you organize your stuff. Well, once you've got a folder open, it turns into a window. Hmm, what's that all about?